Hi, my name is Craig Ewers, a Judo and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu coach here at Nails Fight Center. I'm filming for Warrior Collective and today we're looking at uh, different ways we can drill uh, the armbar skill okay, for Judo or Jiu Jitsu or any type of grappling. Uh, this is my assistant Mason Jones. So the first technique that we're going to do is just looking at transition into the armbar catch. What we call the catch position really is the tilt position. So, any type of grip break here is acceptable. Okay. One that I'm going to use today, just going to go on the pinky, onto the elbow, roll the hand off, keep control of this grip, and I'm on pocket of the gi here. I'm going to chop so almost like a fake tight toss your hip throw. Okay. Now I'm going to transition into the catch of the armbar. Okay. Any armbar variation, my preference is Put the arm in at the top, the Yaskovitz variation, so like the Adams roll, any other would work as well. So one more time at speed, so any grip break, chopping the guy through. Okay, and then we're onto that arm. We only go to that point, what we're trying to drill is that speed and fluidity from standing into the catch of the position. Once you've got the catch, you're in a great position to transfer that into the armbar. Okay? Just one more time at speed. The second drill naturally progresses from that situation. So any grip break, again, could be a different one. Just knocking the guy through. We're onto our catch from the armbar. But this time we're going to complete the roll. Any grip break. Pop the guy through. Onto the arm. Right in front. Need to finish. The key with these drills is just to build fluidity and tightness right the way throughout the drill. Okay. Good exercise for flow. Partner's on his back. Okay, we're working the finish element of this technique now. So for judo, this is really important. But also for jiu-jitsu, as a nice flow drill, and also to just to develop the feel of this armbar position. So we're controlling the leg, we drag the far leg, and we start to pull the hole down. Okay. You could, if you wanted to, make the grip break here. Mason starts to defend off balance with me. Now we're back through into the roll. We're gonna drag the legs again. Okay, established position every time. Again, okay, drag the legs off balance. Drag the legs through. It's time to roll. Okay. So now we're on to some resisted drills. Okay. So one of the key elements of this armbar position, before I can armbar anybody, is being able to keep this position with my legs. Okay, so that's the first drill. Mason tries to escape. I'm not allowed to use my hands, but I can use my legs. Okay? You can put a time limit on this, 10 seconds, 15, 20, whatever suitable really. Okay? Really good drill. Okay, go. More often times than not, the pistol and bottom eventually escapes. But it's an excellent way of keeping that leg control that you need to secure this position. Okay? So I recommend three to five sets especially with junior athletes, is a really good drill. Next uh, exercise, this time we're going to go full sparring from this situation. Okay, so Mason's trying to escape, I've got the option if it's judo for the hold down or armbar, if it's jiu jitsu or grappling, only for the armbar. Okay? We can also mix up the hand positions, like Mason's got my elbow in this case, it can be under the leg like EVI rules, okay, and we just play around with this position. Again, put a time limit on it, 10, 15, 20 seconds, even up to a minute, whatever is suitable for you. Okay, so go. So I'm looking to try and control. Mason's trying to escape. Okay. I hear him get control to start with, and then I can start to work my way to the armbar. 
Okay. Last drill, another flow drill. Again from that dead zone of the armbar position. This is a nice drill uh, to help you reinvert really each time from the armbar position. So make sure makes an escape. This is not the only position that it's suitable for. So this happens a lot when you have this arm underneath your leg. So you start to bring you up. There's nothing to stack me here. So what tends to happen is people panic there, okay, but I don't, there's no need. All I need to do is pop my head out and we're back into the roll. Okay, so make some pushes up again. In this position, stack me, just relax. Pop your head out to the side. We're back into that armbar position. So I hope you enjoyed those uh, drills for skill in the armbar position. Uh, for more information about Nails Fight Center, go to www.nailsfightcenter.com. And for more martial arts instructionals, go to Warrior Collective.